Reginald Heed, Pan Books, and Men's Adventure Quarterly, new books for new collectors and fans. Hi, I'm Gary Lavisi, and this time we're going to take a look at three great new books that have come out uh, for collectors and fans. And the thing with these books is they're a little expensive, but they're beautiful, beautiful quality, color, uh, uh, you know, excellent, excellent volumes of information and beautiful cover art that you don't have to be a collector of all of these books or have them in your collection to appreciate them. And that's the thing that's uh, that's cool about them. The first one is from uh, Robert Dees and Bill Cunningham with the uh, guest editor Paul Bishop is Men's Adventure Quarterly, Volume 1, Number 1. And this is a book... This is a this is a, actually a magazine, but um, it's in a site. It's a trade paperback, and it has all of the covers of the men's magazines, venture, and stories, articles. Beautiful, beautiful material. Really well presented. All the covers. So you can get an idea. This is a really, really nice, nice magazine. Now, some of these don't have prices on them. I don't know what the, uh, what the, what the, uh, what the cost would be, especially like with postage and stuff. But uh, we're going to put the uh, information to order down in the description below. So this is Men's Adventure Quarterly, and we just have a few of the magazines to show you some of the actual magazines. Peril. The All Man's Magazine, Giant Snakes, another another edition of Peril from, uh, these are all from the 1950s, The Boudoir Queen Who Drove Kings Crazy, Sin Playground, 45 Minutes from Broadway, another Peril, Men Today, or actually this is yesterday because this says Men from uh, June, probably in the 1950s with a you may become a human torch, handmaidens of hell for Madame Torture. Great, great cover. And um, and another one from uh, New Man, stripped virgins of Satan's Mountain, lost battle of the Joy Girl Brigade, and uh, other various nasty. Uh, villain um, cover art that uh, guys were reading in the 50s and 60s um, and uh, reading stories that were uh, showing heroes uh, saving women in the various stages of undress from uh, unscrupulous, nasty, savage creatures and guys and, and Nazis and all kinds of characters, evil characters. So this is a this is a, these are the magazines, a few of them, and this is the, uh, the actual book by, um, by um, Robert Dees and Bill Cunningham, which is uh, Men's Adventure Quarterly, Volume 1, Number 1. You Great. Said, you said it's expensive, but not if you compare it to having to buy the magazines individually right. and try I mean, to collect well, them. Well, this, this, this one is not that expensive. The others... Um, that I'm going to show you are a little more expensive. Uh, they're probably, uh, I'm not sure exactly, but they're probably 30 or 40, maybe $50 uh, on the price because they have to be ordered from, from England also. They're, they're British and they're hard covers. So the thing is though, uh, in comparison to ha buying the magazines, you know, buying a book like this that uh, that has all of the uh, information in it, it'll just give you a great, a great taste of of what's available and, and, and some of the some of the stories, some of the art, you know, and it's uh, just it's a great, really cool, really cool magazine. They did a great job on it. The next one I want to show you is uh, well, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these up and I'm gonna show some pan books. Uh, pan books are British, and um, there's a few of them. Opium Venture by Gerald Sparrow. It's a pan book, and it's a Cy Webb cover, or a heed. Uh, the Cataclysm by R.C. Sheriff is a 
science fiction novel, which uh, I don't believe has been reprinted. The uh, Hammer Omnibus by John Burke is uh, just a really cool Hammer film horror um, anthology. It has four movies in it, The Gorgon, The Curse of Frankenstein, The Revenge of Frankenstein, and The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Four films from The House of Hammer and uh, John Burke uh, um, adapted those scripts into the uh, into this book. The back cover shows some suitable monster uh, images from the films. And, uh, and the last one is uh, pan number 327, uh, Robert A. Heinlein, The Man Who Sold the Moon. So that's pan book. That's a little taste of pan books. A really great uh, British publishing uh, outfit. Books are very collectible, very really beautifully well done. And now we're going to take a look at a really, really nice uh, book that just came out called Cover Me, The Vintage Art of Pan Books from 1950 to 1965. And it's from Talos Books in the UK. It's a hardcover. And it's an appraisal of pan books by Colin Larkin. And we're going to look at that right now. And here's the book. Beautiful, beautiful book. It has a PEF cover. PEF is one of the uh, one of the uh, primary and, and key artists on pan books, and uh, he did a lot of the crime covers. And you'll see in this book, first of all, the back cover has a lot of classic covers of pan books. And this is from published by Talos Books. And it just has some of the, shows some of the artwork covers during the during the decades of the uh, 1950 up to 1965 so 15 years of great pan books a lot of the covers are shown in here and I'm going to go through quick but just to give you an idea there's also material about artists and models and um, who they uh, they used the uh, photos the photos that they used for the for the covers so you see the woman here so there's a lot of a uh, lot of excellent research beautiful color all of the uh, the books are um, shown in the uh, you know, in, in really perfect condition, just uh, just beautiful, really exciting, vivid, and full page, so you can really enjoy them. You know, it's uh, it's really really a nice book. He's uh, Colin did a, did a terrific job on these. It's a wonderful book <coughs> for any collector. We'll just go through a few more just to give you an idea. And so that's Cover Me, the art of pan books from 1950 to 1965. And now we're going to look at one of the famous, most famous British uh, artists, aside from uh, Peff, who did the covers for pan books, was... Um, Reginald Heed, who did the covers for the Hank Jansen books, and here's here's three of them from uh, from around 1950. Silken Menace, The Philly Wore a Rod, and Sweetie Hold Me Tight. And he did some really really wonderful cover art, really sexy, good girl, um, beautiful stuff. Uh, the book I'm going to well, first of all, there was there was an earlier book, The Art of Reginald Heed by Stephen James Walker, which I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention that that came out in 2016 from Talos Books, and that's this book here. And this is the first Heed book, and, and just to give you a just a quick quick glimpse of everything that's all of his covers. 
I'm in this book. Now, when this came out, it really, it really took the world by storm, especially heat collectors and and um, uh, people who collect British uh, crime novels, good girl art, and all of that. And um, so he came out with um, he came out recently with the art of Reginald Heed. Volume 2, and this is the new book that just came out. It's a big, heavy hardcover from Talos. So there was a part of Reginald Heed Volume 1, and uh, I guess that's that would be this one. And this is by, again, Stephen James Walker and Steve Chibnall also contributed to it. And Volume 2 is the new book, and in it, as amazing as, uh, as it is, this book has a lot of material that's not in, it's almost everything that's not in the first book. So here's uh, the Art of Reginald Heed. That was the volume one, and this is a special edition. And this is volume two, has unbelievable amount of material, research that, uh, that, um, Stephen James Walker has put in here that he's gathered up facts and data and information on Heed's uh, early work, uh, unknown work, uh, and uh, all kinds of various things. Advertising, there's even photos of, of Heed and photos that he used for models, and it's just, it's just packed with new information on Heed. Um, I was I was astonished really when I when I saw this book, I, I was uh, amazed at the amount of new material that uh, that this book has. It's uh, it's really it's really stunning, and it's just beautiful with all of Heed's, a lot of his drawings and his preliminaries. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of uh, great material in here, uh, all in color. Everything that's you know, except for, of course, black and white uh, sketches and things, but the, the, the cover art, when it came out of the books, was in color, and all of these historical westerns, uh, advertising material, things that we never, never knew about, um, and it's just really, really something. This is a great, great book, and beautiful. You could just get lost, especially both of these books by, um, by Walker. I mean, you could, uh, just become lost in them, the cover art. Even some, even, even children's uh, covers that he did. I mean, just things that nobody knew about. And uh, and uh, Stephen James Walker has found out all this, in, all this information, all this material, and put it together into this book. And uh, there's very little overlap between this one and that one. So I actually. Uh, Quite surprised and quite delighted that uh, this is a really much welcomed volume and a companion to this one that he did. So these are the two two heed books by Stephen James Walker, and this one Steve Chibnall helped uh, him on volume two. Um, again, the, uh, the Pan book and the two uh, heed books are from uh, are from uh, Talos Books in the UK. They're hard covers. Beautiful, beautiful books, gorgeous artwork, and um, again, you don't have to amass a collection of uh, Heed, um, good girl art, crime novels, uh, Hank Jansen's, or uh, a collection of Pan uh, paperbacks from the, from the UK or uh, of the um, of the. Uh, uh, men's uh, sweat magazines from the 50s and 60s. Um, with books like these, you can um, enjoy enjoy the books, and you don't have to um, buy the actual uh, the editions, which you know can be costly and uh, can set you back a bit if you're going to be a, a, a serious collector, especially these days when uh, some of this material is uh, the original source material is uh, is scarce and, and collectible and expensive. So these books are welcome, welcome um, uh, 
additions to any collector, any uh, person who appreciates art, um, who appreciates British uh, paperbacks or um, uh, good like uh, good girl art, uh, uh, men's magazines, and, uh, and and any of that kind of material. So you're going to love these books, and uh, I, I love them. I think they're great, and uh, there'll be information uh, below about uh, how to order. Uh, how to get in touch with them and uh, and, and to get these books. They're, they're well worth it. I, uh, I highly uh, recommend them and I think you'll enjoy them very much. And I just want to thank you for looking and uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, share, and um, give us a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for looking.